hello guys and dolls, it's me Cora. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you sort of a room tour. It's not a complete room tour. I'm just going to very briefly go over the whole vanity situation because for the most part it's not that much different from what I showed it to you guys last year, also in October. So it's sort of like the anniversary room tour. Um, but the reason why I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail with the vanity is because I'm going to be starting a series next month where I'm going to be showing you guys how I make over my vanity. So I've been wanting to make it over for a really long time. I actually bought a desk for up here back in June and it's been sitting downstairs because I've been waiting for a good time to go ahead and do this sort of vanity series. So I'm going to finally bring it upstairs and kind of show you guys the process. And so basically instead of doing a, you know, full makeover on this whole area and then only showing you guys the finished product, what I'm going to do instead is show you guys step by step like what kind of desk I pick, what type of new mirror I pick, or, or, or storage solutions or whatever it is that I'm doing differently because that way it kind of gives me a chance to talk more about the decision making behind it and also give you guys options and ideas rather than just showing you what I use because that's kind of how everyone kind of ends up with all the same stuff is because you know we just talk about what we have and not maybe the decision making behind it and just that the talking about the ideas I feel like can spark someone else's own idea. So that'll be coming up for you guys in November but today I wanted to share with you what I've got going on in the background because it's been changing up a bit. We finally got matching nightstands. We got a new bed which is great because if you guys remember I had that white bed that had like all of the you know railing and everything and this is just such a small space and so it took up too much visual space and also it just was weird with like filming and stuff it would always make like a weird angle and things would look straight and then when I you know go to edit they were actually like this and oh, I can't even tell you how annoying that was but anyway the other thing too is that Mikey got me a jewelry armoire from Pier 1 for my birthday so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of a review of that because that's kind of an expensive piece to buy I know I like obsessed over it for two years before he finally bought it for me and I can't wait to share with you guys my room so let me go ahead and get started so the really exciting thing, the first thing I want to share with you guys today is that we got a new bed and a new pair of nightstands from Ikea. So excited. Let me actually go ahead and show you a little bit of this over here. So the first thing is my lamp. I'm so excited to have my lamp on my side. It has like the metal hobnail kind of thing going on. And I like how our shades match, but the lamps themselves don't. Mikey, if you guys remember, has the tripod lamp, which is over there. And then I just have some like books that I love, like fashion books and art books and makeup books and stuff like that. That. and then I'm actually gonna show you what is in my drawer so one thing I really really love about this by the way this is the Hemneys bedside table from Ikea this is also Hemneys so this is really awkward angle <laughs> sorry guys if this is making you sick so I like that these are the same series but they're different colors so they match but they're not like matchy matchy what I love about this is that it has this little thing in here so I can keep like my everyday essential skincare and you know just whatever I need like immediately up there and then everything else can just be organized. It's a whole lot of skincare stuff. Now you'll notice this little box in the back. And that is where me and Mikey keep our contraception which is kind of a nun yet, but I do want to let you guys know the contraception options that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and have a link in the description box down below to bedsider.org so you guys can be a little bit better informed and let you know like the options that are available to you. And then in the bottom, I keep like books that I'm currently reading. Like these are my See Their Moon books. I have um, my planner, which is so cute. This is from Kate Spade. I'm dying over it. It's so pretty. My furniture porn, aka the Ikea catalog. <laughs> this is the book I'm currently reading. And then one thing I really like is I, I can keep like my foot lotion and my like actual like sockies down here. And it's nice to keep them like away from, not like that I need to keep them away from my regular socks, but it's nice to keep them separate because I don't want to have to like get up and get in my drawer at night. I just want to like, you know, do my nighttime skincare routine and go to bed. So it's kind of nice. This bed is the Malm bed. I think it's the black brown color. This is supposedly the high one and it actually doesn't look that short in the video, but here, let me back up. You guys can see that like our bed spread thing is like, you know, pooling on the floor. It's just, it's really, really short, which we've gotten used to and it's not that bad, but it kind of sucks because we don't have as much under the bed storage. The other bed that we had, you guys remember, it had like that whole bottom footboard thing and it was just too much. This room is much, much too small for a piece of furniture that does that and it was just taking up too much visual space. This is nice. It's a nice clean line. The bedding that we have for the most part is actually from Kohl's, like the two larger pillow things here. These are both from Vera Wang. These two like blue ones are actually like a blue purple gradient. These are from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're from Kenneth Cole. And no, it's not a stain. It's supposed to be like 
I don't know, like ombre-ish, but looks kind of weird. This pillow is also from Kenneth Cole. This one here is from Vera Wang. That one is from uh, Home Goods. I think the brand name on that was Throw or something. And then I can't remember what brand the curtains are, but they are from Amazon. I'll go ahead and have a link to them in the description box down below. So here's my vanity setup, as you guys probably remember it from last year. I think maybe that light is a little different, but, and I've got crap all over my desk right now there. And I've got all these costumes here because I'm gonna be filming a video um, about Halloween makeup and costumes and all that kinds of stuff, which will probably be up before this video, but anyway. Um, so here is my vanity area, as you guys might remember from last year. I'm so excited I have this little monopod, so I'm actually filming this on my iPhone, so hopefully the sound and everything is cool, but I actually really like this. This is pretty neat. I feel like it's a little bit less shaky than filming on a camera. I don't know, we'll see. I did briefly want to show you this little thing because this is the main thing that's new and different, but definitely keep in mind I'll be sharing all of this with you next month. I've been able to clean out my closet so it can actually be open while I'm filming. So hi guys, hi. I uh, went ahead and put my little jewelry thing that is like a mirror thing in there because it makes it a little bit easier for me to see my outfits of the day, which today I'm wearing some, you know, track pants and a sweater. Very, very exciting. Um, <laughs> The biggest change in here was being able to bring our dresser into our bedroom. It's been so nice. It's strange because it was, you know, it was just like right there before, but just having it in the bedroom, we can actually like access it and, you know, it just, I don't know, it just, it makes it feel like more like a bedroom. Also, you guys might remember that we had our desk in here, my actual like, you know, computer desk and everything. And now, you know, it's just the dresser and it just, it's so pretty over there and it's calming. It's obviously not done. Like we haven't hung any art or anything One yet. Thing I did want to talk to you guys a little bit more in depth about today is this right here. This is the Jewelry on War from Pier One. This is the Hayworth Collection Jewelry on War. Obviously, this is a very, very popular item. Uh, Mikey got this for me for my birthday. I've been wanting it for a really long time and I finally got it and I'm so excited. Unfortunately, though, I do have some issues with it. Like, there's a groove here, you know, that goes around. And it looks like over here, it just got, like, way, like they just put way too much spray paint. So you can see, like, there's a groove here and a groove here. And then there's just way too much of the paint. And when I first got this piece, it smelled really, really strongly of, like, toxic spray paint to the point where I would put jewelry in here. And it would, like, even the metal jewelry would start to smell. So that's kind of disturbing and it's something that I haven't seen anyone else mention in a review before. So I'm thinking that maybe I got like a bad one or something, but I mean the smell has dissipated, but still I'm finding that like when I put like fabric pieces or like leather or wood or anything in here, it still sort of absorbs that toxic smell and I've had it now for almost a month. So I think, I think I might have to exchange this. I already contacted Pier 1 and asked what I could do and they said that I could exchange it or return it or something. So that's good that they have a good return policy. Another thing to note is that this one doesn't really lock in place, which is kind of upsetting. So you open it up and you have the five drawers here, which are on the inside. These are all velvet lined, which is really nice for jewelry. It keeps it in place and stops it from like, you know, moving around so much. So in this top drawer, I just have bracelets that I wear really often, and I really like having the available space. I like that it's these shallower drawers that I have more room to spread it out. And then here I have my statement necklaces, and I really like this because these are really heavy to be hanging up all the time. It puts a lot of stress on the necklaces themselves, and this way you can really see what they all look like, and it's just a little bit better of a setup than having them hang. The one thing I don't like about this jewelry armoire is that the necklaces are on the door and so they swing and they move. I would prefer for them to be like maybe on the sides of it or something, like have the doors over here and have a door come out and then have the necklaces just be on the inside. It just seems like it would be a better design to me, but whatever. And then I have some sunglasses, all the sunglasses. I'm a little bit of a sunglasses junkie. Have some scarves in here. I really like having this now for all like my hair things because these were always kind of scattered out and I don't have room in my bathroom to store these so it's really nice to have them in here. And then here in the bottom I have some things like this is my face charts from Dustin Hunter. This is the Marie Antoinette tutorial that I did for you guys last week and I actually use like markers and like colored pencils and stuff to draw on my face charts. Maybe I'll do a video about that if you guys are interested. And then here at the bottom, I have these cinnamon stick things, which I was using to try to get, you know, the smell gone. And then I have some vintage handbags that I like to keep, you know, separate from other things so that they don't get messed up. 
and that is all that I keep in here. As you guys can see, I'm not completely using it just for jewelry yet. I don't know if I'm going to um, exchange this or get a different one, or I don't know what I'm going to do. I've thought about maybe getting the lingerie chest instead of just exchanging it for another one of these. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I will update you guys when I do it. I also want to show you guys what I have up here. So the first thing here is my little jewelry organizer thing. It's like an acrylic thing I got the container store. It works out really well. The thing that I have is a little cabinet here which holds like vintage mini perfume bottles which is really cool. It's something that I collect. My mom actually gave me this so it's very sentimental. And I have like my actual you know like perfumes and everything that I like to use right now. I do have some of them also in this thing here. I also have more perfumes but again more on this another time. Sorry for all the teases. I also really like to buy perfumes in rollerballs because I almost never use up like a whole bottle. So like these three here are ones that I like really, really like because I bought a big size of them. So then we get to the top of the dresser. This is just kind of some basic like lighting stuff. Like I have this light that's posted up and away so that I can get some kind of like fill light going on when I'm filming. It really helps, you know, everything look a little more naturalistic. Then up here we just have some decorative things like a picture from our wedding day and a Halloween card. And then this right over here, I love, by the way, this is our Crosley radio, which is amazing. It, do, it does like records and CDs and all the nice neat stuff. This vase Mikey got me for our anniversary this year. And I just put some flowers in it from World Market and just like some, you know, decorative Halloween stuff. I just got my nail polish rack all nice and shiny and clean again. I am horrified to tell you guys how dusty and disgusting this thing was. It was bad. So I actually need to get like another rack for hanging below here so I can hang hopefully all my nail polish and I kind of feel like whatever doesn't fit on two racks I just need to get rid of because I feel like I just have way too much nail polish. So this was fun for you guys to watch and maybe helpful for some of you who have a smaller space and are you know trying to make it work. I know that we it was a long time coming but we finally are starting to really put it together. We've got a lot more work to do in the closet and obviously my vanity area needs a lot of help but it's slowly but surely coming together and it's so exciting to actually make a smaller place work and then you don't feel like you need a bigger place which is kind of cool saves money on rent. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to make good choices and just be yourself. See you, bye!